Hi guys, my name is Mohit Mrinal and I bring to you the latest developments in the field of AI. This is ChatDev Software Development Agency. We have designers, coders, testers, documentation team and obviously the CEO, CTO, CPO, everybody. The client comes with the requirement, the entire teams work on the project and then produces the complete software with codes as well as the documentation. So what's new? It's actually just a single software, which is using OpenAI APIs at the backend and creating a lot of different AI agents that interact together to complete your project and you just need to prompt what you need. So without wasting any time, let's get in and let me show you the complete process of setting up this project and then trying it out with giving a project as a prompt and evaluating the final output. So this is the URL, I'll put the link in the descriptions below. You can read the complete documentation here. It explains how this all will be organized. And then let's get to the code right here. There is also a demo video which you can see if you wish. Let's see how it is. Okay, so it's basically the overview of how to go about it. Okay. So this is the code for cloning the repository. Let's first open our terminal. Let's first check the Python version that we have to make sure that we already have the Python installed or not. If it is not installed in your PC, you have to install Python first. And then so we can see that it is already installed. Let's just put the command for cloning the repository. So it will actually copy the entire code base for this project into your computer so that we can run it so if you don't know as we have cloned the repository now if we want we can actually also modify the code the way we want so let's get to the second step for this you need the conda to be installed on your computer so if you're using windows or any other operating system you can go to the conda website and install the anaconda package i know these names might sound very weird python conda anaconda yeah but it is the way it is <laughs> and if you are using mac m1 then it's best idea to use homebrew you can use this command to download it you just use this command to install it and lastly conda init zsh to initialize it then it recommends us to close the terminal and restart it and i hope that we have conda right now so let's copy this second command and go to the terminal it should work and yes it is working so it is basically uh, creating the python environment for us as you can see from the code and we have kept the name as a default name you can also change the name if you want and make sure that the name that you put here should be for the second command as well to activate it so it's done let's use the activate okay it's activated uh we need to move to our repository where we downloaded the chat dev okay it's here now and we finally do this last command okay now we need our open ai api key because whatever instructions we will be giving to this ai agency they need to make some api calls at the back end to fulfill the requirements so let's see how we get the api key so you just have to go to platform.openai.com and then on uh, on the top right you'll get an option to come here or maybe you can also just use the same url here and you'll get to this point where you have all the api keys that you have and let's create a new api key let's name it a uh, chat dev and we created so i have put my api key now the rest of the steps are actually for initializing and working with the project we have visualizer how you can do it so basically you need to get to this so we are currently already in the chat dev directory there is a file in the visualizer which is app.py we need to run this one so we just put python3 visualizer slash app.py and yeah it should be running at this location just copy it put it on your browser and we have 
our visualizer now here there is one more step that you have to do if you go to chat chain visualizer you have to choose a file so when you go to the chat dev directory there is a company config default and chat chain config.json so while i was trying to run it again i faced some issues and then i asked chat gpt obviously and it seems that we also need to install flask inside the python environment so let's do it and conda install flask so now let's run the visualizer again and it works again let's again add the chat visualizer config file let's open another terminal file go to the folder again and run this here we just need to put the file name and the prompt basically the instructions that we want to give to this AI agency to build our software so let's try with a ping pong game because uh, making a game is not very complex in terms of a project as well as it is not very easy so it will be good to see what it comes up with when there is a project which has a visual physics and as well as backside code implementation so make a ping pong game with ui and the name let's skip ping pong so there is a new error so this new error again tells us that we need tenacity as well so let's do it no module named openai so i guess pip install openai tick token numpy markdown and now it is asking for the openai api key so maybe the last time we initialized it it forgot it because the package was not there so let's put it again okay so now it actually is running and we can see that it is having kind of a documentation or maybe a conversation and let's go to the visualizer to actually see it but you can see that for each set of operation it is also giving us the summary of how many prompt tokens were used completion tokens and the cost for that procedure and this is an ongoing conversation let's go to the visualizer to see what is going on so it shows that yeah the system actually processed our input and then the system started chatting role playing so the first conversation we had with the ceo and this is the prompt that was used to actually build the ceo kind of you can see the role assignment over here so chat dev is a software company okay it has ceo human resource officer chief product officer cto and multiple agents okay so it is instructing that you are chief product officer mm -hmm. you are responsible for this instructing all the capabilities that this role has mind maps dashboard and then system is then creating the yeah chief executive officer i think there is a little bit of typo like here it should be chief executive officer and here it should be chief product officer like it is in the prompt but uh, let's see how it goes so they are actually having a conversation and let's see when the project is assigned Ah, we already have this output here or maybe it's in Let, let's let's see the conversation what is it uh, so it is our programmer here so you are okay mm -hmm. so this programmer started with the code using python so this is the starting file this is the first program Oh, we also have a code reviewer over here. So if you are a freelancer working on a project, there is nobody to review your code, how optimized it is. But here 
you not only get the entire code or maybe the entire output of the project but also the code is reviewed through a code reviewer ai agent and it has maybe given a feedback and then yeah programmer should be working on it again we don't need to go through all of this i'm just yeah out of curiosity going through this to see what they are actually doing and i think it is going through a lot of iterations or maybe stages as well so it has i guess made the game let's see if we have it here okay so this is the game how can we access it okay yeah here it is and it is not stable what's going on are they talking more yes so it was a intermediate output maybe it was running through a test do we also have a, a tester here uh yeah software test engineer and again this prompt is not matching with the title but who cares if the output works so if if you want you can actually go into the python code and fix this issue like if you want because we have cloned it we have the access to the code base we can edit it modify it add new features if you want and i think this is a great point to introduce that you can also check out our website digestprom.io where we offer a lot of ai tools ai blogs ai services and ai news compilations and ai tutorials just like this one on our youtube channel so you can like this video if you appreciate the effort and you can subscribe to this channel to get the latest ai news compilations and tutorials you can also check out our instagram page for our ai memes and reels and if you like you can try out our ai tools it is not a single tool but a suite of a lot of tools which increase your productivity we are also coming out with a new set of tools to include in the same dashboard currently our best tool on the dashboard is the cv builder where you can completely build an entire cv that you can also download as a pdf by just answering some questions so basically a sentence to cv tool so let's get back to here and what is the status of our project i think the tester found some bugs and it went through the programmer and then again the cto maybe some requirement engineering issues and finally i guess we have the output over here because this seems like a like a documentation so it not only develops the entire game for us but also gives us a documentation at the end so user manual welcome to the game installation game controls playing the game to install the game we need to install python and then okay so this is actually a template which we can use and then we need to edit it so in case the output we are putting on github again and then we include the link of our repository over here when we are yeah publishing this documentation anywhere or maybe in the readme file for the upload game controls so up and down arrow so this is it playing the game so these are the rules and they are not talking anymore so i guess we have got the output so this is the summary and it said that the entire cost for building this project was 0.033484 dollars only and the output contains number of code files is equal to 2 doc files 7 maybe for the documentation total lines of code is 44 okay tokens used duration so the entire time it took was only this much which is like roughly 5 to 6 minutes and now we have to find where we have this output so to run the project you have to go to the warehouse directory and run the project file name of yours so let's quickly see uh where it is so uh this is the ping pong game and we can see that this is the name which matches this nomenclature so let's go to cd warehouse slash project name and it is in the folder we just need to run python3 main.py so this is the game that is up and running we can move this and obviously we don't have the scoring and other mechanism as of now but it looks like it works 
fine uh not production level obviously uh i should just stop otherwise i'll keep on playing so uh we also see that there are some other projects over here so i looked it up and we see that there is actually a portal where people are actually contributing and uploading what they have built using this chat dev so if you go to the link here this is the page and a simple website flappy birds game go moku catching coins painter ping pong the one we built and they also uh, mentioned what open ai model they used to build this game obviously if we want as we can edit the code we can change it to a better model because it is calling our own apis so we will be having a higher cost on the development but at the same time the overall process will elevate to a next level so there are also some games which was uh, built using gpt4 so let's get back to our game again and while i'm playing it you can like this video if you haven't till now and you can also subscribe to our channel if you are not a subscriber yet and check out our website for the other kind of ai deliverables that we have ai meme or reel on instagram or our ai blogs or our ai tools for sure and if you have any ai services you can contact us we can build custom ai website custom ai apps APIs, Chrome extensions, you name it, we can discuss it. We can also do AI automations for you. And if you only want a consultancy with us for a new project or idea that you have, we are also available for that. I am not a very good player, I guess, or this game is too hard for me. So digestprom.io signing off.